Alright everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I'm going to be running this furnace to melt down a bit of gold. This is gold that is uh, the result from my uh, failed golden spike video. Uh, I've already recovered most of the gold, but there was a little bit that I was missing and I went back through and I found it. It turns out the gold was stuck to the iron oxide from the can and so I'm going to be melting it down again. There's probably uh, you know, only about 10-15 grams of gold here, but still, that's like several hundred dollars worth. But, it's still a very small thing to be running in this furnace. So, I think what I'm going to do today is actually uh, make a little bit of charcoal. And make it out of some items which might be interesting when the charcoal's finished. So first I've got some bees. These are honey bees from one of my hives that didn't make it through the winter. In case you're wondering, it was this hive here and the probable cause of death is a high varroa count. And I've got some flowers here. I didn't do anything to the flowers other than let them desiccate in our dry Utah climate. After these are charred, they should still resemble what we have here, but of course they will be charcoal. I think that'll be pretty interesting to see. Uh, usually I just take the dead bees and throw them into the uh, compost heap you know, so their nutrients gets recycled back to the flowers that uh, they're pollinating. But, hey, maybe uh, the biochar will last longer, eh? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be putting them inside of this can here. I'll just uh, fill that up and then I've got another can to put on the outside. Flip this over. Fill this space here with a little bit of charcoal dust so that no air can get down in there and burn them. Because I want this to be a completely anaerobic process. Otherwise, you know, they'll just turn to ash. Okay, about ready to go. I'm going to put in a couple of pieces of wood just to consume the oxygen so the metal cans don't oxidize. We are going up to quite high temperatures. Hot enough to melt gold at least. Okay, let's put this together. Turn on. Okay, should be just about ready. Put on some gloves here. Let's uh, pour the gold. See, I preheated the mold. Set that right there. Hopefully, this is liquid. That doesn't look good. Let's tip it out. It was melted. I might want to put it back in. I don't think that's. Uh, Quite good enough. It didn't all come together like I wanted. But, I see no reason that these cans should stay in there. So let's pull these out. They've cooled off. Let's open it up and see what we've ended up with. So this is the bees. Let me drain out that charcoal that I put around the side. See how they look. Ugh. Okay. Looks like a single mass, like they've all stuck together. That's interesting. Uh, they still resemble bees, though. If I zoom in here. Maybe you can kind of see. Yeah, there's there's a bee there. See its legs and eyes and everything. Interesting that they stuck together. They must have uh, produced some kind of fluid. Here's one bee at least that didn't stick to the others. You can see the wing is still intact, the antenna, everything, even the little hairs on its back. You gotta admit that's kind of cool.
It is substantially smaller than the original bee was, though. See, here's one that didn't get charcoalified. Charcoal bee is probably around half as big. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's looking a little bit promising. They still look like flowers. I pull one out of there. <laughs> look at that. A charcoal rose. Beautiful. They're very delicate. Remember, these things survived almost a thousand, thousand degrees Celsius. They even got a little bit of color to them. If you can see that on the camera, yeah, right in there, it's a little bit like blue, a little bit of gold-colored hues. All right, you know you want to see it. Let's crush one. Uh, it's like nothing. <laughs> hey, look, a charcoal corsage. It's too bad about the bees. There's really not much left here. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of crush it up and then I'll throw it in to the compost. And uh, that'll form biochar, which of course. Uh, will act as a sponge for nutrients and also a home for microbes. Charcoal particles can last in the soil for hundreds if not thousands of years. Oh no, I've contaminated it with bee parts. <laughs> it won't come off. <laughs> well, that, that, that's fitting, I guess. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Not bad. It's just charcoal.